Well, this may not be very exciting to some of you, but I'm going to dive into this because I've not found any videos anywhere. This is the deck on a Kawasaki Vaquero or Voyager. I'm going to see how difficult or easy it is to pull the face off of it. Good buddy of mine from one of the Facebook groups sent me his old one because obviously he doesn't need it anymore. And uh, I'm going to dig in and see what all it takes. I'll try to keep you guys updated with video clips as I go along. They do come with a rubber watertight gasket seal that comes around the entire face. This one doesn't have it. No big deal. All right, the four main bolts come right out. I am using a Japanese industrial standard screwdriver. I know a lot of people complain about soft bolts and stripping bolts, but it's because they're using American Phillips heads on Japanese industrial standard bolts. And so far, these appear to be JIS. All right. Move the four little tiny micro screws right on top and on bottom. And the trick is, underneath this tape, you don't even have to really take the tape off. There's this little tab. You stick a screwdriver in there. The same on this side. Just pry it open a little bit. See, this side comes right with it. And the face comes right off. There's everything. Two little micro ribbons and the face is off. This ain't hard at all. All right, there's enough wire there. You can lay it flat. Now these simply pop out. You can take a screwdriver and wedge them up on either side and pop them off and remove the ribbons, the ribbon connectors. Or I'm gonna remove these screws. You just take the whole face off without touching any electronics. So stick with me. All right, I've removed the screws. There's one here, one here, one here. Same on this side, one, two, three, and then two little ones back here. Tons of little screws. whole face comes right out and you're left with nothing but the faceplate that you can paint whatever color you like not bad a lot easier than I thought and just a little lesson these buttons are all one big rubber housing to help keep it waterproof and they're held in with these little tiny rubber tabs. See these right here? Yep. Yeah. Big ones on the bottom there. They simply press through and hold in the place. You can pull them through, like this one's coming out. You can grab that little tab, pull it nice and tight and through. Locks those buttons in place to the board. And now that you got it all apart, I realize there's a clear screen in here. That's glued in from the back side and it does not want to come off. So it might be easier just to tape it when it's all together and paint it anyway. Because the hardest part about taping this off was that divot anyway and you're still going to have to tape it off. So you might as well just put a little tape on the buttons or some oil or grease when you paint it. And this is still the hardest part to tape. So I don't see much of a point in ripping it off. Oh well, at least we explored and found out. <laughs> 